somebody sounds chipper. Things looking up, Rita. Good. Oh, I hope it's about Sally. Oh, it certainly is. Can't say much for now, but watch this space, eh? Isn't it great to get some good news for once? Yeah. Tim! Tim! Are you going to the police? Please say you're going to the police. None of your business. Yeah, but I spoke to her. I spoke to May. I heard her voice. I told you. I know you did. Yeah, but she's not dead. She's alive. <sighs> oh, hello, Audrey. <clears throat> I have a question. For me? No, for Desmond Tutu. Oh. Yes, of course, for you. Is today Lewis's funeral? No. Well, I don't know. I mean, what business is it of yours, anyway? I never miss the good ones. All right, no worries. No worries. I'll, I'll find out. I've got my sources. Oh, probably one of them millennials. Oh, I'm never quite sure what that is. Is it like snowflakes? Oh, she's not a snowflake. Work. Old folk, old no knickers. Oh, no. Tell me, she makes him Elder Marcos look modest. Ord? Yes. Darling, can we talk? Uh, about Lewis, presumably. Oh, dear sweet departed Lewis. Oh. Claudia, please. I've got enough on my plate trying to sort out all the financial mess he left me in. The last thing I want to do is talk about him, right? He stole from her. It's important. Yes. 80 grand's important, so just hold your breath. Huh? Come on, Gail. <sighs> Terrible smell round here. Yes. Betrayal. Huh? Her signature scent, actually. Ooh. All right, love. OK. Tra. I'll stay. Yeah, they're good. Good. I think I've convinced him that I don't need checking up on every five minutes. How are you? Do you know what, Eileen? I'm incredulous. I'm sure. I can't believe the lengths that Jenny had go to to get her own back. Revenge isn't a dish best served cold with her. No. It's piping hot on the bumper of a car. Do you think I felt sorry for her? I know. I'd not won any competitions for being a good judge of character, would I? Jim, Hannah, Jenny. I'd have probably thought Dr Crippen were a decent GP. You've just had a bad run, love, that's all. And if I can play devil's advocate, is it worth going to the police, really? I mean, what if it wasn't deliberate? You weren't there, Eileen. She was like Lewis Hamilton. Bam. Yeah, but you just said you couldn't remember. Well, no, but she admitted it. That's no mistake, is it? Well, maybe the three of you could just thrash it out together. I mean, think about it, Liz. You've got to live on the same street with these people. Isn't it better to try and resolve things? Oh, yes. I'll be in late. Yeah, I know. See ya. I just want to find out about this fraud investigation. Uh, well, look, I've got plans later, but uh, I could come to the bank with you, hear what they've got to say. Yeah, it sometimes helps to have an extra pair of ears. Oh, I'm not a decrepit girl, not yet. Come on. Oh, Nick, thanks, my love, but I don't think there's anything anybody can do. I just want to find out where that blasted money's gone. And who the hell is withdrawing it? Excuse my French. It's all right, I've heard worse. So it's this phone box on the corner here? Yeah, that's it, that one, yeah. Great. I know that one. OK. And this is the uh, phone number that he's been calling. A Spanish woman answers, and then she calls for a woman called May. She gets on the phone and uh, mentions Duncan. She's got a proper English accent. Right. Well, she's alive, isn't she? And he's the biggest lie walking. He's called Costa Rica where his wife meant to have died. She died over a year ago. Yeah, according to him, but he doesn't stack up. He may have had any number of reasons to call the country where she died. Well, from a phone box? Who uses phone box apart from tourists to have a photo of folk that have been out in the last to use it as a casy? I'll look into your allegations, but they'll be limited. Usually we contact Interpol, and, uh, of course, I'm going to have to speak to Sally's sister if she was the one that made the phone call. Well, an innocent woman's behind bars. We need to make it a priority. Excellent. 
excuse me, but this is my cell. You don't say. And if you bring drugs in here again, I'm going to report you to the screws. <laughs> <laughs> you really know your lingo, don't you? No, I mean it. Oh, bought off Hyacinth Bouquet. You can't get rid of me. I'm your new broomie. Are you going to grasp me up, are you? Well, I hope you like sitting down, cos I'll put you in a wheelchair. It's like I've always said, Damon. David. I said, David, you've either got the gift of hair or you haven't, and thankfully I have. Oh, David, David, are you there? Guess what the banks are saying now. Banks are inanimate objects, they can't speak. Shh. They told me I'm not going to get my money back. Don't you shush me. Because the transfer was done online, it passed all the security checks or something. I don't really understand that. And she knew they had the cheek to insinuate that it was all my fault. But it was, Gran. Oh, David, shut up. I didn't just write all my passwords down in my little diary. No, you drew little stars out of pencil around some of the numbers. Yes, and it was a genius idea, thank you. You could see through the stars, Gran. So Lewis really has ripped you off. That's what I'd heard. That's not good, is it? Actually, this is none of your business, Evelyn. We've just come in here broadcasting it. Thought for a minute you were Moira Stewart. I don't even know why you're here. Well, I've not come to get me Dr. Scholes widened. Yet we're not one of our regulars, are you? Well, thank you. Thank you for the nice welcome. I'll go back to Claudia next time. I went to Claudia this morning for the pensioners special, but she was closed. Really? Hmm. Having a big new extension put on, apparently. Rolling in it these days, isn't she? So, how do you know about Lewis, anyway? You're the talk of the wash house, you are. Ah, is he all right? Uh, coffee, please. White? Yeah. Uh, tap in, or...? Mind if I join you? <laughs> join away? Have here, then, please. I'll bring it over. David, all right? Yeah, yeah, he's good. You take a seat. Towel. Hey. Okay. I'm, um, looking forward to later on. I've, I've been thinking about where we could go. Uh, oh. Who needs tonight when we've got now, eh? Hey? Let's set the day off and do it now. I'm game if you are. Unless this isn't private enough for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing if not unpredictable. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Any good? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, proper page turner. I um, can't find anything by the same writer, though. Hey, you told me not to knock your faith yesterday. Hey, I'm not knocking it, kid. I'm no kid. I am aware of that. Yeah, had a good read of this when I was inside. Mm -hmm. And putting the, the cell back into bestseller. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, <laughs> uh, had so many questions, no one to ask him to. One coffee. Towel off. You pay me later. Well, I'm, um, I'm happy to answer any questions. About the Bible? About anything. How's Liz? Well, I'm not going to dress it up. She's a mess. And to be honest, she's terrified what you're going to do next, Jenny. She told me what you admitted to. Right, so what's she going to do now? Go to the police, probably. Well, she's all getting so out of hand. Look, she's my mate, and I hate seeing her like this, which is why I persuaded her to have a talk with you. See if we can sort this mess out, if you're up for it. Yeah, of course we are. Right, well, should we head over, then? Well, can you just give us half an hour? Because we've got to wait for another member of staff to cover us. Yeah, I'll, I'll text her.
Gina actually spoke to me? Yeah. Yeah, and it wasn't through no medium. She's alive and they're going to find her. Why would he use a phone box? Can you actually trust Gina? This is good news, Sam. As if my opinion of him couldn't sink any lower. I mean, he set that charity up in her memory. Well, I've been to the police and taken it seriously. They're even talking about Interpol. Well, if you're right, he really doesn't have any sort of a soul. They'll soon find out that he was lying and you'll be free, Sam. So. It's too good to be true. I can't even begin to think that that might happen. Oh, oh to God, it's not a false lead. She still goes in trouble. Oh, Nora. She's on mountain and trousers these days. Mary, what are you doing? Oh, I can't stop, Audrey. I'm in a rush. Oh, so where are you taking that to the tip, I hope? What an outrageous suggestion. These are for Lewis's funeral. Oh, oh, it's today, is it? Well, yes, that makes sense. I hope you're not charging me for that because he robbed me blind. The undertakers were meant to take it with them in the hearse. You know, they haven't half gone downhill. Last time I saw that undertaker, he had processed cheese underneath his fingernails. Yeah, look at this. Huh. That's a jazzy bag, Nick. Oh, uh, tell me. Guess where she's taking this? Oh, no. No! Yes, Lewis's funeral. Well, you don't say. I knew it had to happen sometime, but how lavish are these flowers? I hope you're not going to be charging me ma'am for these. Yes, that's what I said. The order came through online. I don't remember who placed it, but this much I do know. The funeral started five minutes ago. Oh. Do you know, I am really going to get to the bottom of this. So, Mary, hurry up with your keys, because we're all coming with you. Sorry? What? Yes, come on. But... Nick, your grand needs oh. you. Get in. Oh. Find the flowers. Oh. Oh. Pretty much tallies up with what Mr. Metcalf said. But would you be happy to come to the station with me so we can do this formula? Of course, anything to help me, sister. Have my car outside? Well, let's go then. And when I actually think about potential job prospects, uh -huh. all I'll say to you is this Why reach for the stars, Kathy, when there are footprints on Uranus? Has a man landed on Uranus? Oh, no, I mean the moon, the moon. Ah, oh, well, the defo landed there because my auntie Glow had it on her tea towel. In terms of uh, putting yourself out there for jobs, I mean, you have to be a salesperson. You have to sell yourself. She did a bit of that and all. Sad, really. And face facts. Everything I touch turns to sold. So, uh, have you got any uh, job interviews lined up, then, or what? As of when? As of now? No. I don't entertain that word. It's very negative. Now, that is class. Now, that's magic. It's what we call a, a miracle. God, I wish I could turn water into wine. You never have to go fresh, go to see what was on offer. <laughs> hey, do you reckon you could turn it into vodka as well? Or am I getting a bit, mm. you know, blasphemous? Mm. A tad. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've never actually heard anyone say that word before. <laughs> blasphemous? No, a tad. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say it again. Why? Go on. A tad. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should just stick to religion. Yeah, because otherwise, I'll be knocking on your door going, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned, and you'll already know about it. Hey, uh, less of that. Oh, hey, I better get back to work, mate. <laughs> mate, is it? For now. I've enjoyed this. Maybe we'll have to do it again sometime. Well, we could still do it tonight. Uh, meet, I mean. Let's not run before we can mince. Mm hmm. Playing out to get, is it? Chen Pillows. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed the book, Jesse. Oh, it was great. Well, the bit that we read was. I mean, poor Kathy. Oh, no. They wrote a song about it by Kate Bush. Really? Oh, God, I wish I was as clever as you. Well, everyone has to start somewhere. You know, when I first had the title, Wuthering Heights, I thought it were a block of flats. <laughs> <laughs> I 
everything all right? We had reason to believe there were drugs in there. Did you find any? Not this time, but we'll be back. Keep it tidy. Come on. This had nothing to do with me, Marcia, I swear. And here was me thinking we was going to be busy mates. I didn't say anything to anyone, I swear I didn't. Are you going to be all right, Sally? Oh. I'm going to be fine, Jodie, you go. Lovely, lovely Lewis. I didn't know him, but I've heard nothing but wonderful things about him from those that did. And now he's dead. I guess we all know that famous poem, so often read out at funerals, where the poet himself likens death to just going into another room. I know for a fact we have that at my mother's funeral, and it did bring a lot of comfort to my family, especially my sister Bex. How realistic a prospect is that, I often ask myself, because if our dear departed were just in another room, surely there'd be a corridor or a doorway to lead us there and find them. And so, if I may, I'd like to come up with a different analogy. I'd like to say that the dear departed isn't in the next room, but they've just popped to the shops. Oh, for goodness. After all, shopping can take a long time. Oh, man, no wonder she's so blush. It reminds me I of that often new used car. phrase. Extension to the salon. How long Swanky is a funeral? Shh. And it makes me think two things. Was she saying it? They're on a journey. Was Claudia in cahoots with Louis? Not now. And it Maybe might be quite a while till we see them again. After all, who doesn't love a good shop? Rita. Oh, love, are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Just my ankle playing up. I've been on my feet all day. You poor thing. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I'll tell you what, you put your feet up. I'll stick the kettle on. I won't take no for an answer. Oh, you are kind. All right. You know, I think I'm a bit long in the tooth to be running this place single-handed. I mean, Gemma gives me the odd hour, but she's already got two jobs. Sounds to me like you need an assistant. Well, I'm not offering you it. Mm. I'm not fishing for help. Well, you'll be relieved to hear, Rita, as I am. I wasn't talking about me. I'll tell you what, meet me at the Rovers later. Sorry? You won't be. In fact, I think you'd be very grateful. I don't speak in riddles. Oh. This isn't no riddle, Rita. In fact, it might just be the answer to all your prayers. What's she playing at? <sighs> it looks like she's not in. What, well, maybe she's just fallen asleep? <sighs> I, 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 um, I saw Fit Paul earlier. Oh, right. Yeah. And? Did it? Well, there might have been a bit of light flirting. All right, on your behalf? No, on, on both of your halves. Oh, good. Do you think? Yeah. What's your problem? Oh, I, I don't know. Um, Eileen, do you think you might just bob a quick text up to Lee's one last shot? I'll be one second. All right. Do you know what, Billy? Go home, stick on country file, get the wool out, knit yourself a bed jacket. Uh, You're not ready for the knackers yard yet, so why are you acting like you are? It, yeah, but... Look, it's been a year since Todd did his Lord Luke, and so don't look a gift horse in the what's it. How can I convince you that I won't crash you up? Why would I do that? I don't believe you, Mecca. Why would I? Oh, shut up! Gwen, and that's not even my name, Gwen, you should never wear ski pants. And lo and behold, he was completely right. And personally, I think we can all learn a lot from that. Doesn't she go on, oh, ma'am? And now Lewis's friend, Claudia, will say oh. a final farewell on behalf of all of us.
Actually, I've written a little poem. A love poem, no doubt. Oh, there we go. One glimpse of a coffin and they all turn into Pam airs. Up in heaven, a new star is shining. Down on earth, my heart is pining. Oh. Save a place at the good Lord's table. He wasn't even religious. <laughs> and I will join you whence I'm able. Oh. It is. Oh. How dare you? How, how dare you? I mean, whence? 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 How often do you use the word whence? Oh, please. Oh, I've asked you a question, you dozy cow. Oh, I'm always saying when. Oh, come on, please, ridiculous. Answer me this, lady. You were in on it, were you? In on what? Yes, you were his fancy piece. Oh, oh I'm beginning to warm to her. You stole my diary with all my passwords in oh, it. Oh, please, can we have some decorum? And you helped Loverboy here to steal my £80,000. <gasps> right, I want it back. Oh. Stay with us on ITV. Corrie's back in half an hour.